welcome to my channel performance testing so today I am explaining how to calculate 90 percentile response time okay so first assume uh, you have executed your test and your test is reported 10 transactions okay your count is your test reported the transaction count is assume 10 transactions okay so let's say so you have executed the test now okay in that you got total 10 transactions so those names i am listing here t1 t2 t3 the transaction t4 okay t5 t6 t7 t8 t9 and t10 10 transaction has been executed so once your test got executed means so you can list out the transaction names and also you can list out the response times as well to that particular transaction so let's say t1 is executed so you can get this particular transaction response time from the view result tree like the same for t2 also you can get the response time for t3 also you can get the response time like that till t10 you can get the response times for your execution so from the jmeta view results tree that is from the listener okay now what i have to do i have to list out those transaction names and along uh, i have to list out these transaction names along with the response times as well okay so let me note down here serial number and the response time or esp i have written here response time what I'll do here, I'll, I'll list out like transaction name, TRMS transaction name. Okay. So now, and with the response time, I can write like RESPONC response time. going to do I have to list out the transaction names completely and also the response times related to that particular transaction here how many number of transactions we have executed uh, the test is reported is 10 transactions okay so list out those here t1 transaction t2 transaction like that you have to list out 10 transactions okay and the serial numbers so you know right you, you know how to give the serial number right the serial number and we can get the transaction name and the response times also from the view results tree so once you have executed your test in the jmeter in a sense in the listener you can see how many number of transactions got executed and uh, what are those and also response times for each and every transaction you can see in the view results tree so from there what you have to do so you have to get the response time for this particular transaction. So assume that it is reported as 3, okay, 3 seconds. So T2 is reported as 2.3 seconds. T3 is reported as like uh, 2 seconds. T4 is executed 1 second. T5 is executed by 1.5 seconds. T6 is by 5 seconds. T7 is executed by like uh, 3.5 seconds. It is executed by 1.5 second or you can make it at 1.7 so t2 is 1.99 and t10 is reported as 0.5 second so these are the response times i have uh, uh, written here by taking my bone but what you have to do so whenever you are calculating the response times what you, uh, i mean and what you have to do you have to bring uh, bring your transaction names and response times from the view results tree or the, uh, that is from uh, like uh, uh, jmeter listener so you have to get all these statistics okay so once you have gathered your transactions like this so let's say your uh, um, execution is reported as thousand transaction then you have to write uh, like this 
okay you have to get the transaction name thousand transaction names and also thousand response times will be there for each and every right for each and every transaction there will be a one response time so you have to get thousand transaction names and also you have to get the uh, thousand response times okay then you have to uh, form those things like uh, like like this in a tabular format so once the tabular 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 format is ready so then what we have to do so we have to write this transaction names in the ascending order okay so based on what so based on the response times okay so i will i will let you know clearly here we have to write the transaction names in the ascending order based on the response times okay so um, i will tell you how to write that I am going to write okay. I'm going to write this transactions in the ascending order. Okay. So how to write that uh, transaction names in ascending order based on the response time is so you just copy this entire tabular. Delete this transaction names and the response time. Okay, now how to write this transaction names in the ascending order? Okay, so based on the response times. So now you have to search for the minimum response time here in the response time column. Why we have to search for the minimum is we are writing the transaction names based on the response times in the ascending order. Ascending means from the lowest to highest. So here, you can see here, this, these are the response times. So among these, so which is the minimum? So 0 0.5 is the minimum response time. So that is reported by which transaction? T10 transaction. Therefore, the transaction name first we have to write here T10. And how much time it is taken to execute? So write that one also here. Okay, 0 0.5 second. Okay, we need to make it that 0 0.5. 0.5 which is a minimum so search for the next minimum so this is one right so the response time is one here that is reported by t4 you come here and enter t4 in the response time is one so after one which is the minimum so you have again you have to search in this column okay so after one which is the minimum so 1.5 is here so 1.5 is reported by t5 transaction so we keep this as t5 1.5 which is the minimum so this one 1.7 that is reported by t8 so transaction name is t8 and that is reported by how much 1.7 so next after 1.7 which is the minimum so here 1.5 we have that is already done right so 1.7 is over that is 1.9 that is reported by which transaction t9 so you make here t9 t9 you have to enter and the response After 1.9 which is a minimum here we have 2 that is reported by transaction T3 you come here and enter T3 in the time is 2 seconds so after 2 which is a minimum you can see here 2.3 that is reported by T2 transaction so enter T2 transaction in in the response time is 2.3 3 which is a minimum sorry which is a minimum after 2.3 which is a minimum this one right 3 is there so 3 is the minimum okay so then that is reported by t1 transaction so transaction name is t1 and the response time is this is t1 not t10 okay response time is 3 so after 3 so which is a minimum 3.5 is minimum. This is reported by T7. So transaction name is T7 and it is reported by how much? 3.5 seconds. So you can make here 3.5 seconds. So if 
finally after 3.5 here you can see 5 seconds that is reported by t6 so t6 transaction name and this is 5 seconds so this is the way how you have to write the response times response time sorry uh, you have to write the transactions names in the ascending order based on the response times so once the writing of the transactions in the ascending order is got completed so then what you have to do you have to calculate the 90 percentile so how to calculate the 90 percentile so i'll explain in a separate tab okay so we are going to calculate 90 percentile so we know what is 90 percentile right so 90 percentage is nothing but 90 by 100. 90 by 100 means so we will get 0 0.9 so this is 90 percentile in ascending order so we are calculating 90 percentile response times okay so 90 percentile response time is nothing but 0 0.9 so 90 percentile is nothing but 0 0.9 into so we have to multiply this 0 0.9 with number of transactions which are reported in the screen we know how many number of transactions are reported here. The total number of transactions you can get in the serial number. Okay. So that serial number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 something, right? So how many number of transactions here? 10 transactions we have. You can get that from the initial table or from the ascending order table. So wherever you can get it. So total number of transactions we have in here. So therefore, so we have to, what we have to do? We have to multiply this 0 0.9. So 0 0.9 with 10. So why? Because total number of transactions we have here. Okay, 10. So therefore, we will get 9. So 9 is the number of transaction here. Okay. So remember this. This is not the response time. So this is the serial number. Okay. 9 is the serial number in the table okay so 9 is the serial number in the table so here you have to come into the come to this ascending order table and you have to search for the serial number 9 so this is the serial number right so this is the serial number 9 so i have highlighted in this uh, i'm going to highlight that here you can see right this is very nice Here, this is the serial number 9. That means the 90 percentile response time is nothing but whatever the response time is reported by this T7 here. The transaction name which is at the ninth row. Okay, it is there. The transaction name is T7 that is reported by 3.5 second. So that means here 3.5 we will consider as a 90 percentile response time for our scenario. Why you are considering this 9 as a 90 percentile response time means? So 90 percentage nothing but 90 percentage of transactions are completing within this time. So that is the meaning of 90 percentile response time. Again I will tell you. So 90 percentage of transactions are completing within that time. Okay. So we have to calculate first. Let's say out of 100. So you have written one exam for 100 marks. So someone or uh, your test evaluator is saying that you got 90 percentage of marks. So that means you got 90 out of 100, right? 90 out of 100 you got. So that number we have to find out here. So that number how we are find out here, how we have find here 90 percentile response times that is equal to. So we know 90 percent is nothing but 90 by 100, right? So 90 by 100 that is 0 0.9 into number of transactions how many number of transactions you got during the run okay during the run how many number of transactions you got you can get from this table so what is the maximum number of serial number here maximum serial number here 10 so therefore total number of transactions are 10 here okay so therefore number of transactions are 10 so 0 0.9 into 10 10 so these are the transactions right number of transactions these are not the response time so number of transaction means it is a number 0 0.9 into 10 you are multiplying that 
0.9 with the number of transactions so the result will be a transaction number so transaction sorry you see uh, it's a uh, transaction number yes serial number or uh, transaction number you can see so here in our case the, this is the serial number right so how much number we got here while we are calculating 9 we got so therefore so you have to highlight this ninth row here ninth transaction which is reported by t7 so how much time it is reported 3.5 so therefore so we can say to the client so within 3.5 seconds so total 90 percentage of transactions are completing so this this is how we can calculate 90 percentile response time okay so here i have taken a simple example like i have considered only uh, like um, 10 transactions here okay you can you in the test in the realistic environment you can uh, the test can report n number of transactions at the time what you have to do so you have to write this table like this okay serial number one two three up to n how many number of requests do you have that your test is reported so that many serial number you can get here that numbers you have to report in the serial number then the transaction name and the response time like that you have to write one the box a table you have to form here okay uh, then what you have to do you have to write those table data in the ascending order format in ascending order okay how we have to write those in ascending order transactions how we have to write those in ascending order means based on the response times okay here you can get the response times and the transaction names everything from the uh, listener of um, G meter there you can get the transaction name and the okay, as well okay so write those things in, in the ascending order format and then calculate 90 percentile response time that is multiplying with 0 0.9 with the number of transactions here number of transactions are 10 right so therefore 0 0.9 into 10 we will got we get here 9 so 9 is the serial number here in the ascending order you go and highlight that particular column so I have highlighted here so therefore here whatever the response time it is reported that particular transaction is reported so we may say that so this is the transaction response time so within this uh, response time so 90 percentage of transactions are completing so this we can report with the client okay so this what this is the process how you can explain 90 percentile or you can calculate 90 percentile response time for your project okay thank you for watching if you are having any queries uh, leave your comment here i will explain i will clarify your doubt thank you so much